Welcome ladies and gentlemen, reporting live from the HQs of Goose Goose Panda. Maradona plans on signing Ronaldinho to an Argentine club after a house arrest. Diego Maradona wants to bring Ballon d'Or winner and Brazil legend Ronaldinho out of retirement to sign for Gimnasia y Escrima La Plata. When the jailbird footballer gets out of Paraguayan house arrest for using a fake passport. He is presently situated in Paraguay for using a fake passport. Justice knows no bound. Ronaldinho is currently being held in the presidential suite of the Palmaroga Hotel in Ascension on a release bond of around $800,000. Having been released from prison after 32 days pending a trial for using a doctored Paraguayan passport to travel into the country. His trial is currently on hold due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. When Ronaldinho's court drama is all done and dusted, Argentine football icon would like the 40-year-old to make a comeback, five years after he kicked a ball in anger. Not including his prison courtyard kick-arounds. It is understood there hasn't been any formal contact between the two parties, although Maradona is interested in bringing the 2002 World Cup winner to his Buenos Aires hometown, where he now manages Superliga Argentina side Gymnasia, according to El Dia. Maradona 59, was tempted to make the return to coach in Argentina with a whopping $1.5 million a year contract, and has set his sights on bringing Ronaldinho, who last played for a Brazilian club Fluminense in 2015, back into football. Ronaldinho and Maradona share the distinction of being former Barcelona players and also World Cup winners. The Bucktooth Brazilian will be remembered as a mercurial attacking midfielder during his five-year tenure with the club, where he won two La Liga titles and the 2006 UEFA Champions League. Maradona's time at Camp Nou was less successful. He arrived for a world record $7.6 million in 1982, and despite winning three domestic cups, his two injury hit seasons were marred by disputes with board members and on-pitch violence. His greatest club days came in Serie A with Napoli. Ronaldinho won football's biggest prize at Japan and South Korea in 2002 with Brazil, whereas Maradona fired his country to victory as captain in 1986. All my life I have tried to reach my highest level professionally and bring happiness to people with my football. Playing football, signing autographs, and having photos taken is part of my life. I'd have no reason to stop doing it, especially with people who were experiencing a difficult moment at the same time as me. I have felt the warmth, affection, and respect of all Paraguayans from the first day I arrived in this country. I am very grateful. Despite the rumors over a potential Ronaldinho return, the ex-player's brother, who acted throughout his career as his agent and was heading negotiations, is understood to be against any move to Argentina. Having scored his last goal for Brazil in 2011, Ronaldinho is remembered in Paraguay for a more recent achievement against Asuncion side Olympia, against whom he took part in an epic two-legged final of the most prestigious club competition in South American football while playing for Brazilian side Idol Taco Monero at the tail end of his career. Monero lost 2-0 in Ascension but reversed the scoreline in Brazil before winning on penalties to lift the Copa Libertadores. Since I arrived in Paraguay, I have found that everyone remembers that game very well. It was a very nice moment against a Paraguayan team. It is another great memory. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments, and hit the like button. Also, follow us on Instagram as tagged on the videos. Have a great day and stay blessed.